Hi, my name is Sam Brown. I'm owner and head podiatrist at Melbourne Podiatrists and Orthotics in Camberwell. Regular exercise is a good way for your body to stay healthy and fit. However, with any type of exercise, there is a chance you can hurt your feet. You can prevent injury and stay safe during exercise with a little planning. So today, I'm gonna to share my top five tips to help prevent foot injuries when exercising. Tip number one, make sure the shoe fits. Poor fitting shoes can cause damage to toenails, as well as creating blisters, callus, and corns. You should have adequate width in the shoe so that your forefoot is not compressed in the shoes. You should also allow finger width in front of your longest toe. Okay? When you're walking or exercising, it's natural for your foot to elongate when walking, so that extra room is of vital importance. Finally, we recommend visiting an active feet store for expert and professional fit. This way you can get an overview of your biomechanics and the shoes that best suit your feet and then take them for a test run on the treadmills. Tip two, make sure your laces aren't too tight. Your laces should be laced firm, but not over tight. You've got a lot of nerves, tendons and vessels across the top of the foot. So tight laces can entrap these nerves and vessels across the top of the foot. A good tip is that you should be able to move your foot up and down or dorsiflex and plantar flex your foot easily and it should feel comfortable whilst performing this motion. Tip number three, if you wear orthotics, make sure they sit correctly in the shoes. Make sure your orthotic sits fully at the back of the shoe and make sure your orthotic sits on a nice flat footbed. If you're on an insole or your insole has contours, that can cause the orthotic to move. So what you need to do in this case is trim up around the insole. So this will basically cause the orthotic to sit nice and flat and stop that orthotic from moving when you're walking or running. So there we go, nice flat footbed. So when you pop that in the shoe and you pop your orthotic in, now your orthotic's gonna sit nicely at the back of the shoe without slipping forward. Take time to also undo your laces when you're putting on your shoes and then that way you'll make sure the orthotic doesn't move forward when you put your foot into the shoe. Tip number four, check your shoes for signs of wear and tear. Often foot pain can be the first sign that your shoes might need replacing. Check the wear from behind the shoe. Uneven wear means that your foot is not functioning correctly. Also check the foams and the EVAs for compression. These materials are designed to cushion your feet, but with time they'll actually compress and that can cause excessive movement or pronation of your feet, which could cause issues. Tip number five, see a podiatrist if you're getting foot or lower leg pain. There is no single treatment that works for everyone, so for this reason, it's important to see a podiatrist who can tailor make a treatment plan according to your needs. At Melbourne Podiatrists and Orthotics, we're a state-of-the-art clinic providing professional orthotic and podiatry care to adults, seniors, and children. Our podiatrists can accurately assess your walking or running pattern and can correct biomechanical faults, which can help reduce the chances of injury. We can also prescribe orthotics, which help to reduce excess pronation or rolling in of the feet. Finally, we can help treat and address the cause of painful corns, callus and blisters, and we can also advise you on the best shoe that suits your needs. Thank you all for watching this video. Please share it with your family and friends. We look forward to seeing you at Melbourne Podiatrists and Orthotics, the preferred choice for podiatry and orthotic therapy for the whole family.